In this video I will be making a jump to hang system. The player will automatically hang to ledges if they fall towards it. Different animations will play based on the speed at which you jumped into the ledge. First I will download animations from Mixamo. Get this jumping to hanging animation and braced hang animation. Make sure you download both of them without skin since we only need the rig. Next use this Mixamo converter to convert from Mixamo to Unreal Skeleton. Set frame, height, and rotation to zero for both animations before converting so there is root movement on Z axis too. I will link this software in the description. Next open Unreal Engine and make a new folder for the animations. Select both of them and bulk edit via property matrix. Enable root motion for both of them. Now open the player blueprint. Make a new custom event called trace ledge falling. This will trace for ledges while the player is falling. Remove the select nodes here in ledge climbing with input. Add an event on jump and on walking off ledge. Add a set timer by function. The name of it is the name of the custom event we created. Set time to 0.1 and looping to true. Promote the return value to a variable called falling ledge trace handle. Add a branch for the custom event. Promote the condition to a variable called falling ledge trace. Make sure its default value is set to true. Then add the trace ledge function. Copy these input values. Add a branch from the ledge detected output. If true then add a line trace by channel. This is to check if the ledge is high enough from the floor since if it returns a hit it means the floor was too close to the player at that location. Get the actor location and subtract a vector from it. Connect actor location to start and subtract vector to end. Set the value to subtract to 100 in Z. Add a branch from the return value. If false then add another branch. Break the ledge location output vector. Copy these nodes. It is simply finding the absolute value, meaning positive, of the difference in height between the player and ledge. Get a float less than float and set the value to something like 35. Connect it to the second branch condition. 
Add a do once node. This is required since we are calling this event with a timer so it should not detect a ledge and keep trying to hang onto it, but just once. Add a custom event to reset the do once. On completed, add the hang on ledge macro. The inputs for it are the outputs of the trace ledge function. Open the hang on ledge macro and make a new boolean input called falling. Set it to true for the one we just added. Remove the branch that checks if falling in the macro. Add a new select node for the montage to play. The index of it will be falling input. If false, then connect the previous select node to it. If true, then add another select. Make montages of the animations and open them both. Next open the idle to braced hang montage. Copy the motion warping notify and paste it into the two new montages. Adjust the length to fit the whole duration. Now go back to the player blueprint. The condition for the select node is checking if player is moving above a certain velocity. I will use 600 but you can adjust this if you like. If true, then set it to jumping to hang and if false then braced hang. After the last part, set falling ledge trace to false. Then check if the trace hangle is valid and if true then clear and invalidate it. This is since we don't want to trace any more once we are hanging on the ledge. Copy this code and paste it in event on landed but set falling ledge trace to true. I will now comment the code. It is working but only once. Make sure you call the do once reset event here as well. Now it is working properly. As you can see the animation is different if we go towards the ledge faster. There is an error where the player freezes before the to hang animation plays so let's fix that. Go back to the hang on ledge macro. Add a sequence before the move component to here. Connect then 0 to the move component. Connect then 1 to set movement mode. 
Make sure to disconnect on completed to set movement mode. The pause error was caused because the animation only started after the move component to finish so we removed that and made them simultaneously occur. Now there is no errors, although the animation could be a bit better so you can use your own one if you have. That is all for this video. You can purchase this project using the link in the description if you want. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.